Tax season is around the corner and millions of Arizonans file every year and send their forms to be processed at the Arizona Department of Revenue, meaning the department is responsible for birth dates, social security numbers, and other sensitive taxpayer information. Cronkite News reporter Amber Kawaji talks about the 2015 state audit revealing vulnerabilities with the department's IT system. In September 2015, the Arizona Office of the Auditor General conducted an audit of the Arizona Department of Revenue. In the report were findings of a vulnerable IT system, software not fully up to date, and taxpayer information left out in plain sight. All of it part of an audit testing security by simulating common attack patterns. We were able to exploit a weakness to take over a, a large number of employees' user accounts. We also found that department employees were susceptible to common hacking attacks um, such as phony emails and phone calls, which is called phishing. Some of the IT issues include neglecting to scan IT systems for vulnerabilities. The audit found 85% of the systems had vulnerabilities, including not updating systems regularly. There's now kind of a hole in your system, right, that just exists. It would be like in your home leaving a window open and unlocked. Right? By itself, it doesn't cause a problem. It's when a bad guy decides, sees that open window, and then decides to break into your house through that. And IT and software issues were not the only problems found. The audit also said one employee left a desk unattended for at least 20 minutes with taxpayers' personal and financial information in plain sight. Another employee failed to lock their computer screen, and yet another left desk drawers open, leaving sensitive information visible. I would say that for most of our recommendations, if not all of them, the department really just needed to formalize or, or develop and implement new policies and procedures. The Department of Revenue says in the report no security breaches have occurred and they are implementing the audit's recommendations. Cronkite News reached out to the Department of Revenue but they declined to comment. Our IT expert says no IT system is immune to vulnerabilities. The fact that their systems aren't and their policies that they have in place aren't up to where they should be is definitely a problem and should be fixed. I can't say that professionally I'm shocked because I know this happens all over the place and a lot of organizations are vulnerable. Auditor Jeremy Weber says he is confident the department is improving their security practices. A follow-up to the audit and its recommendations for the Department of Revenue will begin in March. A report on the department's status will be available for the public. For more information, including the complete audit report, visit cronkitenews.azpbs.org.